Right, uh, so Hickey Button has got some teeth. Uh, I can confirm that. I know the last interview came under some flack. Uh, but uh, yeah, do you want to just show us again? All right, it's all there. At least the wife can see them now. At least the wife can see them. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, so how you been, Hex? Oh, good, good. Um, happy, yeah. Happy. happy, yeah, happy life. Wife is happy, you know, it works. Happy wife, happy life. Baby's happy, both of us enjoying the baby, so going good. Yeah, I see you're posting a lot on social media about uh, your daughter and uh, obviously that's brought a whole new dimension to your life as we spoke about previously, but you had just had the baby when we last spoke. Now you've had some time to really, you know, experience and learn about her. I mean, how's that relationship father and daughter coming along? Um, you know, it's, when you think you love your wife a lot, wait till you have a baby, that's how you say it. Um, no, it's actually been amazing. Some nights are hard when she doesn't want to sleep. Um, but I think you just get used to it. We're used to it. We're in love with her. Absolutely, everything she does is something new. Um, I think she's going to walk soon, which is quite cool. Um, no, it's it's an amazing feeling. It's it's wonderful. It's absolute, it's an absolute blessing. And to see you back in the gym again. I mean, obviously you have taken off a, like a lot of time, um, you know, and things are sort of falling back into place again. Uh, how's the how's the weight been? Let's put it that way. The weight's been okay. The, the physical weight, <laughs> but the weight for the fight has been terrible. It's been two years, more than two years now. And I've had, I think it's been four, five, maybe six fights that have come up and fallen through and because of the pandemic and because of this and because of that. But yeah, it's, it's life. Um, if I didn't have my daughter and my wife, I think I wouldn't have been able to cope with it and my family. But yeah, I've um, got through it and we're hoping to fight soon. Well, that's what you need, a good, strong team for your mental you know, health and so forth going forward. But one good thing that I've heard is that there potentially will be something coming up really, really soon. Uh, are you excited to hear news of you back in the ring again? Yeah, big time. Um, I can't wait. Hopefully it happens like it should. Um, I believe it will. It's my time. I need to fight. I need to win another few world titles if I can. God willing. Um, but yeah, hopefully the news will come soon that it's officially happening. Well, I wanted to talk because last time we spoke about WBC and you know things that you want to still check off your list. But when it comes to actual lists of you being like all-time South Africa and you know all those conversations, I mean, how much does it mean to you to sort of be amongst those conversations? Yeah, you know, if you look at some of the all-time greats in South Africa, to Brian Mitchell, Baby Jake, um, Victor Wheel, there's, there's, there's hundreds, uh, not hundreds, but there's a few good fighters. Um, Bjarne Bungu. It would just be an honor to be named amongst them. That's how I see it. Um, hopefully my achievement, achievements warrant that, and hopefully what I've done, I can prove that I need to be with them. It's just an honor. Um, it's a great feeling and a great honor. Do you have any ambition to sort of claim a mantle of being the best, of, you know, the, the, the greatest of all time South African, or does that not matter to you? No, that does not matter to me. Um, I told you what my dream always was, was to be a ring magazine world champ. I achieved that. And now I just dream of, of winning all the titles that I can. I want to, I want to be not a unified, but to win every title I can, to have all the belts. Hopefully, I can do that. Still got some time, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Would be it would be an awesome dream, an awesome thing that that I'll be considered one of the greats of all time. But if it happens, God willing, it does. It happens. It's not my place to want it or to say I deserve it. It's of the public's place. Well, I want to zoom to the future now. Like obviously. Not right now, but you know, at some stage, if you're going to become a world champion again, you're going to be heading back to Japan. Um, what's your preference? Who do you want to fight in Japan at, at that eventual stage? There's two fighters in the championship: the Japan, the WBA, and the WBC world champion. I'd love to have the rematch. That'd be a great honor for me because um, I'm with MTK. He's with yeah. Um, so that would be actually quite a fight, a cool thing to do. And Ken, Ken Shiro is the WBC champ, probably the best in the weight division. I'd like to have, take a shot at him and see if I can test my skills against him. And then there's other guys in the division. Obviously, I mentioned Japan because that's just the obvious routes for now. But, uh, you know, um, Soto and, of course, the, the IBF champion will be fighting Soto really soon, which is Alvarado, who DJ Creel recently fought. What do you make of the other two champions? Those are good, strong fighters. Um, Alvarado is very strong. Soto is very strong. Te technically, not... I don't, know, I don't know how to say it. They're, they're extremely strong. That's the best, thing, that's the best way you can describe it. Raw power. Yeah, most of the best way you can describe it, like you say, raw power. And they come to fight every time. Also very tough and hard fights. Um, I still think Shiro beats both of them. Because he's technically sound, he's technically much better. But yeah, there's, there's four champions and four brilliant champions in the division. Who's, who's the toughest fight? You said Shiro? Shiro's by far the toughest fight in the division? I think Shiro's the toughest fight. Um, 
So I tell you, it would be it. Hard fight as well. He comes forward all the time. And Alvarado comes forward and eats body all the time. The guy who beat me would be a nice one as well because he's also a very good fighter. I'd love to have the rematch, I'll still say that. But I'm, I think Shiro, Shiro be, King Shiro will be the hardest fight. So I'm just thinking about it. If you go the other way, you either go into America or you go into Japan. We discussed most likely Japan. Um, okay, so the, the burning question then, because, I mean, you said you want to fight both the Japanese guys. Which one more? Sure. I think... Physically, um, how, do, how do you say it? Dream, if I want to make my dreams come true, I'd like to fight Chiro. Because then I'd be, the w, can be able to win the WBC belt. But as me personally, I'd like to have the rematch as well. So I don't know, it's, it's a toss-up. It's a hard one. And you now, I mean, what are you doing now? Are you just getting into fight prep now? Have you already started fight prep? I know obviously no fight dates has been announced, no opponents has been announced, but there's something. So, I mean, in terms of training, are you, when, when does your training come start? I've been busy a while. Um, this week was the first time I started training at the gym hard. Next week will be full out, non-stop hard, killing myself. Um, but yeah, I feel good. I feel strong weight. I haven't picked up too much weight. Because my, like, it's like, you know, we've had just had babies and my wife's been dieting. She's lost just, I think, almost 50, 60 Ks. But she's lost, so she's doing well, and she's keeping me on the, on the diet as well, so it's been good. So you haven't had fast food or anything like that, or have you? Um, now and then. It's, we don't, when, well, when we diet, we don't cut out any, anything, because otherwise you overindulge when you're not dieting. So mm -hmm. we've been dieting strict, but not overly. What's, what's your favorite type of food? Um, sushi. Sushi. <laughs> I love sushi. And the two of us were talking about sushi earlier yeah. on, and, Eating it in Japan, which I did, was, which was amazing. But yeah, sushi is my favorite food. It's also a lot of weight. Yeah, I mean, after the fight, right? I mean, you can get back to it again. And uh, is that something that you you do after the fight? Is that like a ritual that you do after, especially in Japan, right? Yeah, I, when I, I had when I fought in Japan, I had to have sushi. And the only place I could actually have sushi was on the airport. I don't know if it's the same as it would have been in, in a shop in Japan itself. But yeah, it was like, and I'd like to, I'd like to. What I normally do is after a fight, I like to go with my wife and we have sushi together. That's a ritual we do. But yeah, that's, that's what we do. It would be crazy if you one day could do sushi together in Japan. I mean, that would be a dream, wouldn't it? Yeah, almost definitely. Um, if, if, if everything works out and gave the right fight to make some money, we could be able to do that. But yeah, hopefully, God willing, that can happen. Well, I mean, if people at home didn't know, it's also my favorite. So I've got to make a plan to get to Japan one day. And hopefully, maybe with one of your fights, is a good route for me to do it. You get a world title, you get to eat well, you get to come home and see your family again. Um, what's, your, what's your message for people out there? You know, obviously, you, you haven't seen you in a while. What, what would be that message? Um, please keep believing. Um, I'm coming back soon, God willing. And I don't think you've seen the best of Eki Butler yet. I've still got some some miles left in the t in the tank there. My um, body hasn't taken too much damage. My mind's still fine. So yeah, keep watching the space. I want to be a world champ again, and God willing, and with your support, I'll become world champ again. That's it. And how old are you now, Hex? I'm 33. So how many years you got left? I um, actually don't know. I mean, if you look at a guy like Maruti Mtulani, I think he's 39. Crazy. And he's insane. He's, he's a world champ. And he hasn't let up yet, so. And he's yeah, he's not let up at all. He's still a great fighter. I don't know if I can go on that long, but I still believe I've still got a few, few years left to me. And I've always said when the family and Colin says I've had enough, I'll stop and call it quits. I mean, in your mind though, I mean, how many years do, would you like to go? I honestly don't know. Is it more achievement based for you? Is like, is it you win this belt and is it not really like a timeline? Yeah, it's more, I, I want to win the belt. I want to be a world champion. I want to go out, I think, as a world champion or out of my shield trying to win a world title. Um, yeah, I don't know. I honestly can't say. I still feel strong, I still feel good, so, yeah. I mean, going back to when you were like 1-0, and 2-0, oh, oh, I mean, did you, did you know that you were going to go this far? I wanted to believe I can. I didn't know I could, can. Um, when you're that age, you have people around you like Colin and your family who say you can do it and push you. It's only when you start winning the world titles where you really believe that you can do it. Like when I, when I won the, the remaxing belt, I really believed that I was truly on that level. Because no one alone gave me a shot for that fight at all. Mm. Um, so yeah, I believe I, I can still do it and I still believe that I can still win the world titles. I never did, did not, not that, not that I'm saying when I went to that fight, I did not believe in myself. Yeah. I was just, when I won that, I, I believe I can win some of the other belts as well and beat some of the other champions. I mean, and how does it feel now? Because obviously you, you've won the Ring Magazine and all these belts that you've won. How does it feel at this point in your career? Like, do, does it still... Do you, do you still remember the days you did it? I mean, does it still mean a lot to you? 
Yeah, you still remember those days. I don't remember the dates. And ask me the dates because I mm. get that wrong. Because I still want that feeling of going into a ring and fighting for world title. It's something you can't explain to somebody. It's, like I said, when, when I had my baby, that's the only thing that came clo even close to that, Rob. Because having the baby was always more special. But um, I still want that feeling, that desire. That it's like a drug to get into the ring. You want your heart pumping, that the blood flowing. Some, it's, it's something I can't explain to someone. I, I still want it. I still need it. You still want it and you still need it. And obviously, you've been out for a while, so you've, you've lacked that. And a lot of, I, know, I know a lot of people that after they retire, you know, they, they also lose that. But, you know, in winning all these things, I mean, even after all this time, you, you still have that desire, which is incredible. Uh, what, you know, what is it that, that makes you? Is there external reasons? Uh, can you, put, you can't put it down to anything? The reason I started boxing, I told you the story as well, was because I hated losing. I don't know, maybe that play, plays a fact in it because I want to win. And the only way I can win is if I get into the ring and fight to win. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I can't answer you. I just, I just need to do it. And then is there any other individual sports? I know you played rugby and that's why you started boxing because you know you, you had that desire to win. But are there any other individual sports that you like to do maybe for fitness, uh, just to keep, you know? Not really. If it's not boxing, boxing training, I don't know. I run, I don't know, but that's just part of boxing training. Um, I don't know if playing PlayStation is a sport. I that's love a sport. It's an e-sport. No, no, it's a sport. Um, I'm not really good at it, but I enjoy playing it. Um, I don't know, I like watching football. I'm not really good at it at all. So I don't know, I like watching other sports, but boxing is the only thing I can really do. I don't know if there's anything else that I would be able to do. And obviously, it's sad days for me because you're a Man United supporter. I'm a Liverpool supporter. Your team's getting the upper hand nowadays, because it's sort of like what you would call as normal times, right? Um, how do you feel about the fact that I'm going to be sad now because you know you guys are getting the advantage? I, I, I don't even think that we're really getting the advantage because I still think if we play Liverpool, we lose. Um, but you guys beat us. Yeah, but that was just, just such a bad tactical game. We defended for 90 minutes. I'm not scared to say it was not the type of football that, as a United sport, you like to see. Um, and I still think the club's owned by the wrong people, but yeah, it's, it's, it's how life goes, especially with, when you're a United and a Liverpool supporter, one day you'll have the best and the next day you'll, yeah, we, I know how Liverpool sports feel, <laughs> all I've felt for 30 years, I know how they feel now. Are you a diehard United supporter? Yeah, big time. Would you ever get a tattoo of something with United on it? Most, I think I would. You would? I think I would, yeah. What's, what's the plan for the next tattoo? I see you've got some spots there that on your arm that could yeah, actually be... I actually spoke to my... My um, artist, um, Jade, um, we actually had a, had a talk and I said I would like to come to him and make a booking. Me and Roxy as well. We want to get Freya's name on it. That's, that's the next step, yeah. Where, where would you put it on your body? That I don't know yet. That or Roxy will probably tell me to get that. Um, probably on my side somewhere. I'll, 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 I'll still have to think about it. Would you entertain having another child? Um, yes, I don't know how to answer that. Um, because my plan is to have one child and give it everything I have. If I have the financial means, I'd have another child. But I'd like to have to give my child anything that I that, that she desires. I'd like to have two or three kids and not be able to support them the way I should and the way I want to. Well, that sums it up perfectly. And then you've always been a one gym guy. You've always been at the hot box gym ever since you turned professional. So, yeah, it just shows to the loyalty and everything like that. So, um, Hex, uh, lastly from you, um, what have you got to say? Shout out to anybody. Shout out to all my sponsors, everybody on my shirt. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for supporting me. Um, all the, the public out there, the supporters, please keep on praying that I get a fight soon. Um, and when I do, please come and watch and support. We, I need it. Um, God bless everybody. Thanks to Adam for all the great interviews. Let's get out there and make it happen.